My name is David Roach. I own the San Diego La Mesa store. Uh, I've been open for five months. Um, I actually got an ad on my Facebook feed. Um, saw the ad, was interested, contacted, I think, Anthony, and then took it from there. Um, I was trying, I was thinking about doing something like this on my, by myself. Um, realized the franchise option would be the best way to go. There's a recipe that you can follow. Um, but then we have to learn a lot of costly mistakes in my own time. Uh, what really attracted me to Tim World was that it's a national franchise. It's actually an international franchise. Um, well known. I did some research online. It has a great reputation. So um, that's kind of what attracted to me in the first place. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was very um, informative. I went to Florida for two weeks in December 2020, I believe. Um, met all the team down there. They brought in some of their suppliers. And, who showed us how to do, I believe, PPF and a couple of tints and stuff like that, and some of the products. Um, again, that was another thing that I was impressed by. These are major international brands, um, and it seems we get a lot of support from them as well. Support was great. I uh, worked closely with Jeff. He was helping me with a lot of things. Whenever I had a question, I was, they were always available on the end of the phone. Um, Paul was also very good. He helped me with a lot of questions I had, what kind of products to buy, what. Uh, things I needed and what I didn't. Um, so overall, yeah, very, very happy. So. Anytime I've ever had a question, they've always been available pretty much straight away. Uh, if we ever have any, um, any questions about where to get supplies or particular products or anything like that, Jeremy's always on the end of the phone, John as well. Um, yeah, they've been fantastic. Yeah, there's always someone there to, to answer any questions we have. Uh, in terms of the national advertising and stuff like that, it's been great. I just pay in, don't have to worry about it. They take care of all that sort of stuff. They've been also very helpful with our kind of local marketing as well. Um, but yeah, overall very, very pleased. So. It's been great. I mean, we literally are a one-stop shop for everything. We do obviously window tint, the detailing, paint protection film. Um, we also offer uh, the audio. We have a lift in the back as well, so we've been able to offer mechanical stuff like brakes and uh, all that kind of other services. So yeah, people didn't like that we're a one-stop shop. We have had a number of customers who um, basically has it's been the draw to the shop is the fact that they just literally, literally have to come into one place and we get everything taken care of for them. So it's been great. But I was a software developer before I started Tint World. Um, been doing that for 15 years, basically building CRM systems, databases, that sort of stuff. Um, Realised I hate computers and love cars. My wife is always annoying me about doing something with cars because I annoy her about them all the time. So um, I'm not really, I love cars, I don't really care how they work. I'm more interested in the design, aesthetics, that sort of stuff. So rather than opening a body shop or a mechanic or something, which I really have no interest in, Tim World offers what I wanted from the industry, which is basically making cars look good, helping customers basically pay the ride. For me personally, working on the cars, I've always, I like working or doing the PPF. Um, I'm not sure why that's particularly my favourite, but you get your hands on the cars, you protect the cars, and the customers are always real happy with it. Uh, on top of that, I'm starting to actually enjoy the audio side of it. Uh, I never really was an audio, car audio kind of guy before, um, but we're doing a few custom builds and things like that, so it's, it's interesting seeing how they develop. and. Yeah, banging out those tunes at the end of the at the end of the project, it's always it's always uh, fulfilling. So, the best piece of advice I got when in terms of trying to find a location was from Mike down in Boca. Uh, he told me, "Don't if you can afford it, try and go for a bigger space uh, as big as you can. It's better to grow into the into the location rather than grow the business and then kind of run out of room and have to find another location." Initially I was kind of looking around 3,200 square feet. I um, was looking for a long time for the right location. When I found this place, I knew it was a run. It's large, it got a lot of room to grow in. We got a lot of room to move cars in and out. Um, the customers are always really impressed when they walk in here. They're like, wow, I didn't realize how big this place is. And when it's full of cars back there, it's, it's a great selling point for this car.